Hey guys, and welcome back to World of Tanks with High Flyer 15. And yesterday I posted a very, very good game in the Walker Bulldog, the M41 American Light Tank. And I requested you to send in your replays with the autoloader because I said that you should always pick the other gun over the autoloader because of the 30 second reload between um, the um, clip of the, um, the, mag the magazine and uh, you having to wait 30 seconds or run away for 30 seconds. It just seems a little bit a lot to um, to have to do every single time that uh, you 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 want to deal with tanks. Like if you're going in and you're just about to kill someone, but you are missing just one more shell on a very big tank, and you you could like basically win the game by um, by getting that last one last shot off. But instead, you have to run away and risk it. As we can see here, he's gonna go in against an AMX 1390. Um, and this AMX 1390 don't know what he's doing. He's just gonna pop out and take a shot and go back. He set him on fire at the beginning as well, the AMX 1390. I don't know what he's doing. He's just firing um, all these shots almost blind. Like, just, nah, I'll just shoot, I'll just shoot. That's not very clever. Um, but as we can see here, he almost took down the entire light tank of the um, of the French nation with that one clip. He could have easily done it, but he missed a few as well. One of them bounced. Oh, there's a Tiger one up there. And he is reloading, so he can't really start doing damage to it because that 30 second reload is still going. Oh, and a shout out here to Ship the Nuts that is down there in the FCM 50 ton. He is taking a beating right now, but um, yeah, he's um, he's in this match, so that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Oh, takes out the MX 1390, and Tiger has lost some HP from what the devil. He just took a big hit from that Aus B down there, and bam, that is a Tiger down. That was pretty fast, yes, and he has two shots left. Should this is the problem, yeah. So he's gonna go down here. He's gonna put two shells into the air, uh, the house B, and then he's going to have to reload. Um, if he didn't have the auto loader, he could go out there and um, and help the tiger two take down the, um, the VK. He's probably gonna get there out there in time. And help him take him out because it's it's not really killing the tiger two that fast. So maybe it's um, so not maybe, but it's it's gonna be able to help here. Um, the Ausbe is aiming at him, so that is definitely helping the tiger two. The Ausbe, oh, it's a radical dude. It's a radical. No, the tiger two does. Uh, block the house B and um, no wait what the hell the tiger tried to kill the house B I thought the uh, the house B killed the tiger too and now had cover from the uh, support that was coming from behind so nope um, the distraction with the Walker Bulldog was complete um, yeah and on Ensk Definitely, if you are in a Walker Bulldog, uh, you would be wise to um, to go to this location. And it looks like he's gonna take out Ship the Nuts. Oh no! Shippy! No! Damn it! Death games, death games down! Death games down! No! Uh oh, he is now putting himself in very huge risk of just being taken out because you're going at a straight line right now. You're trapped in here. If anyone has the IS-3, maybe he goes forward and takes a shot on him, or the T-25 slash two could be in the rear and take a shot at his butt. So this is a very risky place to go. <laughs> oh, look at that. And heavy, high tier, heavy tank, complaining about a light tank that is very high tier, 
using APCR ammo, which is the standard ammo, even though he was being shot in the rear, where any shell would have penetrated him, he still has to call someone a moron for using it. Dude, you're in a tier 9 heavy tank and you still don't get that high tier light tanks uses APCR? Well, good job, dude. Uh, ah, well, he does say sorry, but he called him a moron. Um, you, you, yeah. But he did acknowledge that he was, um, that he was wrong. But still, calm down, man. Calm down. It's just standard ammo, and you would have gotten eaten in the rear by any uh, ammo type. Oh, Tiger 2. Oh, he bounces in the front. He's gonna hide behind the statue here. Uh, he's just gonna aim here instead. That's crazy. The Tiger 2 could have moved just forward a little bit or backwards a little bit and could have taken him out. And again, he has to run now. Autoloader problems. Ah, shit. E75 takes him out down by the end of the tracks. Ouch. But we did see some very nice uh, autoloader action there. Um, I wouldn't say any specific spot uh, would have been would have been better with the autoloader. Like, okay, he did take out the tiger fast, but mm, he could have done that too with uh, without the autoloader. The MX 1390, he could have kept shooting at him. Um, mm, I'm not sure that the autoloader in this game was um like the hit and run thing but um hit and run gun that it um that it was uh, that people were like it's a hit and like hit and run gun and it's still amazing like people were praising it for so um so we're gonna keep going with these auto loader guns replace and see if um if we can find one of those that really amazes me so uh, yeah let's keep going and uh, well first of course we're gonna have to take a look at the score screen and as we can see here he does get the ace tanker and he gets high caliber in a tier 9 match and um, he gets uh, four kills as we can see in the game that was all in the game derp and he uh, gets 1702 base XP. He did 4,304 damage and uh, 641 spotting damage. So it wasn't that much uh, scouting because derp, it was on ends as well. But uh, let's go and um, take a look at another match with the auto loader and see if I can be impressed by it. Um, yeah, thanks for sending us in, Ruben. And um, yeah, let's keep going. And BAM! We're on mines. We're gonna make that minimap just a little bit bigger because we want to be able to see what's going on down there. And we are now with IDS. He is also rocking the autoloader, but he has 20 heat shells. So if he uses them, the enemy are now uh, allowed to complain about it because that's premium shells, man. Heat shells are the premium shells of the Walker Bulldog. They're actually not very good. Like, yep, yeah, they're good in the sense that they have more penetration, but you um, like can waste some of them in the tracks of enemies. Oh my god! Instead of going straight up, he decides to almost show his side a little bit too much. There, the IS-3 decides not to take a shot at him, and an AMX-12 ton looks to be climbing with him. So uh, he's going to have to go and deal with that one. He's coming this way, and yeah, that's easy, easily dealt with. He is going to take some damage. <laughs> he's just going to ram him, and the, uh, the MX-12 ton is so confused that he just shoots the rocks. But Ideas was also confused, so he shot the rocks too. Hmm. All right. Confusion over. Let's go and deal some damage to these tanks. Halfway pushing up to the middle. Tiger 2 is doing it. Oh, you're spotted by a Tiger P. Not very good. Not very good. Watch out for that spotting range. The, the radius you can see down on the, the minimap. 
you get too close to enemy tanks, you are going to get spotted. You're going to spot them as well, but if they're already spotted, then there's no reason to go into that range. Uh, let's see here, is he going there? Nope, he's not going there. The SU is safe from ideas all over the And um, he's going to go and find another target over here. Maybe he can shoot the 112 in the rear. Maybe he can shoot the, the Tiger 1 or the IS-3. Bam! Right, the trike didn't scratch them. He is going back and forward, even though he has complete... Like, he, they weren't aiming at him. So he's going back and forward and taking shots. If you have shots on enemies that are not looking at you, take your time with all the shells that you can get to fire at. Like this one. He took the time on the second shell. That's good. That's very good. But on the first one, he was like... He, he feared that it was going to turn. Now, without the auto-loader cannon, he could keep firing on the tiger. But now he's waiting... 31 seconds. <laughs> In those 31 seconds, um, enemy heavy tanks can fire two and a half times. That means that your allies can take a, a bit of a beating, um, which is also why I don't prefer it. Um, you can see something small down there, maybe. Help out on the chaffy. Nope. No need. Is he gonna do it again? The small the peekaboo here is just gonna. Yep, he stops it. And the ice three just fired, so there's no reason for him to go back into cover just yet. Maybe now. Yes, there we go. Just in time. Holy crap! Woo. Tiger two misses, and now he has all the time in the world to just take him out as well. He he can do the permit tracking with the autoloader as it's faster than the normal gun, but the normal gun is three point something seconds, so you can permit track people with that one as well. But that is three kills already, two very uh, high tier tanks, or one tier higher than yourself, or ideas himself. And one little scout. Again, reloading. And, well, I will give it that it is good that it can pop out and deal tons of damage very, very fast with only a few seconds um, in between. Like, bam, 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 dead. And then he can uh, deal some more damage and get out of there. Bam, bam, bam. But, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, he, he knew that he was going to take the beating, so I think he just stopped here purposely just to keep aiming, which is good. If you know you're going to get hit, you might as well sit still and aim your shells. Bam! That is five kills now for ideas. Very nice. Getting on the hill here and peeking down is the perfect, perfect, perfect uh, opportunity for the... Uh, for light tanks to take advantage of so getting up there all alone no enemy tanks to uh, oppose you that's definitely gonna help on the xp but i wouldn't say the autoloader again here was the perfect choice um of course with the uh like peekaboo tactics you could he could peek out and very quickly empty his drum but Without the drum, he could have kept like a, like a perfect, perfect pressure. No, always kept pressure on the tanks. He's gonna learn here that he can't, he shouldn't shoot at an angle at the AT-15, and that takes him out in the rear. And that's the game. Um, okay, I will give you that when you're able to disappear for those 31 seconds and then suddenly poke out and just empty your clip into someone. This is the perfect situation. Um, I haven't really been in most of these uh, situations uh, with my Walker Bulldog. I have actually never really been in situations where I got in, could shoot a lot of times and then back off. I've always kind of been in those situations where you could uh, shoot a little bit and back off, shoot a little bit, back off, out again, shoot a little bit. Not where 31 seconds of not doing anything or not shooting at the enemy could have been good. So I'm still, I'm still keeping, I'm still keeping my mind open. 
but I still prefer the older gun. Oh, yep, and the, um, of course, the, uh, the score screen here for Ideas is that he got the Ace Tanker, High Caliber, and the Top Gun. He got, oh, also 4.3 damage done. He got 1,747 base XP and 478 spawning damage. So almost the same as uh, Ruben in the previous replay, but uh, just a little bit more because of the kills there and uh, a little less spawning damage. So um, yeah, let's move on to yet another game with the autoloader and see if I can completely change my mind and actually play with the thing. So let's move on. And BAM! Yet again, we are now on Karelia, and we are in the tank driven by Shoot for Fun. If you forgot what he's driving in, it is the M41 Walker Bulldog, and he is also rocking the autoloader. I'm just saying this in between the uh, each battle, just because, um, so none of you forgets that we are trying to convince me to playing with this. Into, into. We're trying to convince me to to play with it. There we go. And um, he is just rocking a full canister of um, APCR shells. A full canister, a full tank full of that. He's gonna sit here in the bush, not be very effective. As we can see here, he is poking out completely with um, like tracks and the top there. So uh, if anyone came down there, he would be spotted immediately. I think, yep, he does spot the Stura Emil right there, and he's able to, to probably take it out if he aims his down. shells. Enemy armor is First fusion didn't hit. He's now on order, order, auto aim, and it looks like he's gonna. Nope, he's go probably gonna take it out. Yes, Enemy he takes it out, and then the KB5. I think the KB5 might have spotted him. Oh, the M3. MT-25, of course, barred him here in the back. And again, can't really do anything right now as he's hiding for those 31 seconds. Could have dealt some damage to it just sitting there in the open. In uh, Aus Clerons Panzer Panther. He's got to get out of there. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? I don't know. I think he's still there, buddy. But he gets spotted again. Uses auto aim. No, don't you use auto aim when someone goes behind a rock. <laughs> uh, always just aim for yourself because then you can see that the outline isn't there anymore. And uh, decide not to fire at them. So there's two shells already used in the clip. He has eight shells left. And then. then uh, that is also the uh, Yak Panda 2. Useless scout. They're actually keeping uh, your arty alive right now. They're not supposed to dive in and give you spots of the enemies camping their base, as this is attack defense. This is assault. And they have to assault them. He doesn't fix his driver. And he moves backwards there as the T-44 is quite far ahead there. Oh, and a Chaffee is sitting down there. Again, he's putting auto aim to full effect here. And just doesn't care about aiming himself. Chaffee gets out of the way and disappears. Moves into the shadow and reloads again for 29 seconds. Auto aims on the T-44. Hmm, is he going to do that again? Well, at least this replay won't teach me or convince me into using all aim because I never do. And, ooh, here we go. Almost a full clip. He could have been shooting at him now, but he's going to be shooting at him now instead. Bounces with the first shot. Penetrates on the second. Why are you not looking at him with your tank? He's just looking somewhere else. You can auto aim and still look at the tank and see when you can fire the shells. Tiger 1 decides to go ham on this T44 
He's definitely gonna die. No questions asked. What a silly tiger one. What a silly tiger one. Not even the autoloader can help in this situation. What the hell is he doing? Goes in, empties the magazine very fast. Oh, bounces off the side, sets him on fire. Boom, very nice explosion and another kill. There's a chaffy behind you, which you could use the two shells on. Or, well, just gonna get to cover and then reload. I actually think you could have killed that chaffy with the remaining shells. We'll see if I was wrong. It's gonna sit here. Yep. Could easily kill them, but you can't win them all with picking the right moment to um, to go in or go out with the auto loader. Could have been a more health. Hmm. So he's gonna aim at his SU. What? He, what? The hell was he doing there? I have no idea. Again, auto aiming. Don't you know how to aim? Ready to fire. Target unlocked. This guy literally is shoot for fun. That one his username shouldn't have been so surprising to me when Enemy I see this. Enemy is hit. Enemy armor is hmm. hit. At least now Enemy he's not. Hit. Just shooting with the auto aim, and he's actually hitting stuff. Yay! Auto aim for the loose. But sometimes it's it's good enough. Uh, like when he went in for the, uh, the T44, he could have concentrated on his driving instead of aiming with that. Oh, let's see, you're gonna go in on all these tier eights. Well, there's only two up there. Not so much HP on the. ST1 though. But there is a super person hiding in the shadow. Up north. KB85 puts another shot into the STA1 and he can actually take him out now. Bam! There we go. And then he has enough shells to go around this T34, take a shot in the face, and actually still kill him. Unless he uses... Well, no, auto aim is fine here. It's, it's lower than the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. No, 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 no. So radical, dude. Ah, oh, he should be dead. No, you didn't put the last shell in. And that shell that you donked because of auto aim. Could no! What did... No! Okay. 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 Nope. See? See here. Auto aiming. No, not auto aiming. Uh, auto loader. He has to wait. He has to wait to go out and get that kill. He has to wait. Uh, but if you had aimed the two shots, totally. He would have gotten that kill, but you can't miss. You can't afford to miss anything with the auto loader. If you have to go in and deal with big targets. That's what I don't like. So I'm still on the fence with the auto loader. It's probably gonna go in and take out this full HP super pushing. And it won't impress me. I don't think he can afford to take any shells to the face though. Target acquired. Again, all the way. Enemy armor is Watch out, dude. Watch out! He's going wide. Oh my god. Now you can stop and shoot. No? Alright. Still auto aiming. <laughs> uh, I just find it a little cute when people auto aim. It's it's what I did in the beginning. That's actually a funny story. In the beginning of, um, of World of Tanks, I was like... Everybody used auto aim because it corrected into hitting tanks. As they were, um... Go close, man! No! Go close! Oh my god! Jesus! I'm gonna continue that story in the next battle. But let's take a look at the score here. Because he actually did pretty good for a dude just 
firing that gun anytime he wanted to with auto aim. He got 1760 base XP with that one and 5 point almost 2 K damage. That's a lot of damage. But again, I didn't see the places where it was superior to the other one. Um, the enemies that did shoot him uh, would have still been dead and wouldn't have uh, reloaded if he had used the other gun. Uh, but he still did really good. So thanks for sending in the replay. And uh, I'll see you in the, in the next battle with the story of Auto Aim. And with the last replay, we are here with Mraka. And uh, he is on Slouch. Or, instead of calling it something stupid in the replay file, it is called Swamp. This is a great map where you can get some great spotting if you go to the right positions at the beginning of the match. And we'll see if he does that. I don't know. But I just know that he's going to get some spot damage as well. He is rocking full on. I'm going to get there very fast. Or reload very fast. With some... I don't know if that's gasoline or diesel or whatever, but he is not rocking a fire kit and he's not rocking a med kit. So, um, this is very daring. Very daring. He's just gonna go here and he spotted a Tiger P, which is AFK. Nope, it's a miss. It's a miss. That's a hit. Uh, the miss. That's a hit. That's a hit. That's also a hit. So he puts in a good amount of his auto loader uh, into the uh, or the drum into the tip of the uh, cupola of the Tiger P, which is. AFK for some reason. I don't know, he didn't even wake up from being shot at, so he's not a bot either. Um, yeah, the story of auto-aiming. In the beginning of World of Tanks, auto-aiming always corrected for the tank uh, when they were moving. If they were sitting still, it was perfect on them. If they started moving, the auto-aiming reticle would start moving in front of it, leading the target for you which is completely bullshit, but it lived up to its name, auto-aim. Um, but, um, yeah, and then with, uh, <laughs> when you didn't auto-aim, me and a friend would, uh, what, what did we say? Oh, let me just think for just a small second. Um, oh yeah, we would call it EPIC SHOT! when we finally shot without using auto-aim. Uh, ooh, cheater bitch. I have an auto-loader, you're a cheater bitch. Um, he, uh, we would call it an epic shot when we aimed our own shells. So following our own, if we had followed the trend, we would have just yelled, I would yell epic shot every single time I would be shooting my gun today. Which is quite silly and stupid. But yeah, that's how it was. Back then, it, it was just too easy not to use the, um, the auto-aim. And when you finally didn't, you felt like a boss. You felt like a boss. Uh, so far, we've seen Maraka move in and, um, and clean up and help. Taking out targets, he went in there and took out the, uh, her, holy shit, holy f He went in, shot the IS in the rear, and he went in and shot the, um, E75 in the rear as well. And now he's keeping these guys lit up. Uh, he's gotta be careful though. The Thymatel's gonna go back up! Uh, Watch out! Thymatel wasn't stupid enough to sit there long enough. Damn it. But he can't hit him. Uh, or something. Oh, he's rocking the big one, so... Uh, why is he not moving? Come on. What a silly dude. And then we have three of the biggest 
front armor tank destroyers all sitting in the base. Are they in a platoon? Almost! Almost, but this is not gonna win them any games. Seriously, they're up against a full team! They're up against a freaking full team! <laughs> oh god, that's insane. They've just, just stomped this small, dear, dear team. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, is he going for him? That would be silly, but he is showing a side. Oh, he gets trapped. Uh, can he penetrate, what can he penetrate off the T-28 in the front? Nothing, so he decides to go on the side while the T-95s are looking the other way and dead. Now the T-20. Uh, T-49, 5, T-45, god damn it, those numbers, it's like, what, what, what's that going on, as you can see here, he is, oh, gonna empty his clip, and then, he's not gonna do anything more, he's not gonna do anything more, he could have helped finish off this one, and gain even more XP, but, the shells did come out pretty fast, and it was a very fast game. Look at that, 15-0, even with major campers in the enemy base. They couldn't even take out one measly tank as they came in. What? What the hell, enemy team? Seriously? GG. G to the effing G. That was just horrible, this play of Swamp. Jesus. Anyways, looking at the score screen, Ace Tanker, Patrol Duty, High Caliber, Confederate, Bruiser, and Arsonists, and Fire for Effect. And he got 2,124 base XP. That 4.5k damage, and also 4.3 spotting damage because he played so aggressively and drove up to the enemy tanks, lit them up almost all the way to the enemy base, and then there was those f five, five tanks just sitting in the base thinking, this is a good plan. No, no. Well, I've seen some great display with the autoloader, but I still think that I'm gonna stick with the, the late, the later gun, where you can shoot all the time and constantly be a menace. I might try out the autoloader and see if I can get some games where I can actually get my my ace because I need the ace. I only have first class because of insane people like these guys are playing the bulldog. Maybe with the autoloader. I'll see if I can get it. I'll just play a, a, a batch of games with the autoloader and see if I can maybe get it with that gun. You never know. But thanks for watching, guys. This was a very long video this time, but I want to showcase um, the replays that have been submitted since yesterday. And uh, these guys were the ones that um, proved a point to why someone, or sometimes, you should go with the autoloader. Because it is clearly not as bad as, as I made it out for. Of course, it isn't. You can see all the French light tanks. They're not that bad. And they've always had all loaders, and I've always liked them. But if I could pick those tanks with a normal gun, I actually don't think I would because, yeah, all loaders is what makes that tank. But, yeah, I just like shooting constantly in the Bulldog. But, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I've been Highflyer15, and I'll see you in the next episode.